you blink, you'll miss it. Valentine, Texas. And with a town named after the love holiday, the question, is there love in Valentine, Texas? I went to go find out. The first stop is Highway Cafe. They haven't been in business in decades, and it's not open. Well, only when Victor and Gloria aren't there. Well, I wouldn't say it's a ghost town because we're in it. We're not ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, anyhow. <laughs> Gloria was a barber for 30 years in Midland, where she met Victor. I fell in love with him when he took me fishing. And he's like, where have you been all my life? <laughs> she fell in love with the place, so I was very lucky. I haven't met a woman that loved this desert. Gloria and Victor bought this 100-year-old home turned bar. And although it's worn down and a little deteriorated, it's definitely not abandoned. Because when the two are here, it comes alive for anyone passing through. Hi! Happy Valentine's Day! Then there's Lisa and Gary Morton, two Valentine High School sweethearts who met in Valentine when they were only teens and they've been married for 38 years. First day at school was Valentine's Day and this guy was in one of the classrooms. We ended up getting married and raising three children here. And every Valentine's Day is a little special because a few days before that is Gary's birthday and it becomes a yearly tradition when he goes in for his once a year haircut. There is a person under there. <laughs> He grows it all year. He says, no, I'm not shaving anymore. It's time for the winter beard. But Lisa gets the biggest kick out of it. It's what I look forward to every year. And it's the thrill of my year <laughs> to see him once again. <laughs> Older and better. And if you drive over the tracks, you'll find the school. A school so small, Irma Porras teaches both first and second grade. Her husband, Larry John, is a former police officer who also worked on the school board. Our whole family, our grandbaby. I feel like I've waltzed across Texas with him. <laughs> we are opposites, but as they say, opposites attract, so there's, there must be some truth to that. Both met at Sol Ross University their freshman year in 1971 and dated on and off. And then they fell in love and got married five years later. It's been an adventure. Amen. And after so long, you just kind of grow into each other. I got this made. And then? To memorize it. There's Dale Evans. Both of our rings. I got married at 17, and I didn't know how to be single. <laughs> After his first wife of 42 years passed away from heart failure, along came Mabel, whom he met online. The first time they met in person, he says, was love at first sight. Magic. Just pure magic. They moved to Valentine on Valentine's Day and traveled the country often in her red Honda with stickers to show where they've traveled, which now sits outside his home, untouched. She loved the uh, sequoia. But after being diagnosed with lymphoma, Mabel lost her battle in 2013. This was taken the spring before she died. And since then, not a day goes by when Dale doesn't think about her. Every day. Every day. I'm a romantic. I've already gave instructions. Look, when I go get my ashes back, take hers and just mix them together and dump us. Because for him, even though she's gone, he knows that Mabel is his match made in heaven. I've never been afraid to die. My big problem is I got two waiting. <laughs> I can just I can see I hit the pearly gates. Dale, come here, we've been talking about you. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. And on Valentine's Day, Anita and Kirby Flippin will be celebrating their anniversary. What is it you love about me? <laughs> she can do everything I can. Drive. <laughs> Kirby is a truck driver, which is how he met Anita. I moved out here and he was here and this town's not that big, so. <laughs> <laughs> but in a town that's not that big, every couple holds an even bigger story and knowing the key to a happy marriage. Communication, I think it's number one. Pretty much. Just get along with each other, respect each other. Well, that's simple. Remember you love them and quit fighting about the small stuff. Always say yes. They <laughs> think you said, just say yes, agree with it. <laughs> Him being gone a lot. <laughs> She's been a good wife and... Uh, and he's been a great husband. <laughs> well, I guess that's a secret though. We're, we were made for each other. But here in Valentine, these couples show that love still lingers in the air. And since home is where the heart is, Valentine, Texas 
is where they find it. <laughs> At the very end, Valentine will always be here. In Valentine. This is home will always be home. Jelena Okazaki. This is it. This is it. News West 9.